all of the purple potential bottom uptrend lines like this were all born from this one back here in June 2024 and just moved over to convenient spots where we had good candle hits so this one here is the bottom of uptrend channel A and the one here is B and B was born down here had pretty good support here fell off the face of the earth jumped back in there went sideways fell off the face of the earth jumped back in here and zoomed in you can see it had a spike up and then a close under it and then an open above it here and then a close under it and then a downdraft and prices trying to get back up above it again and the rock one atr2 has been in the green low volatility zone you can see here in the rock one back in beginning of september end of august that that was the last bump down into the negative one zone here caution and then spikes up into the area here for positive volatility but it has simmered down it had a couple of chances here to get under and didn't you can see those in the thumbnail right here and the ppo extreme at 9.45 is trying to get back above 10 you can see this 10 line this goes back to the covid crash era so it's trying to get back above there and it never could get back above 13 which is the top line also going back to the COVID crash era price has an upwards trajectory on the top side of the line here and the AD line for the S&P 500 has a downtrend line so there's a bearish divergence there and remember arrows above price line bearish arrows below price line bullish macd histogram pointed down short term kst pointed down rsi pointed down ultimate oscillator pointed down but we really are just looking for that to get back above 70 or point down below it like this had a bump above 70 went down now it's trying to get back above 70 but nonetheless there's an arrow pointed down really not part of the bearish divergence however cci commodity channel index had a upwards trajectory agreeing with price so people pouring into it but the williams percent r is pointed down again these are really somewhat like the ultimate oscillator and really not part of the bearish divergence but however they are indicating along with the others on balance volume had a spike up after mumbling around for a while and the ulcer index is going sideways below positive one so we're in good shape there no malox moments yet S&P 500 daily chart has a chance to qualify and confirm this phantom sequential cell risk which is right now qualified so we're going after the confirmation process same thing down here could qualify and confirm this phantom combo cell risk level at that level with an open higher than this close tick higher intraday higher than this high and then close above this close for end of day on Monday Columbus Day qualify and confirm those phantom cell risk levels and we could be going after the combo and sequential and sequential cluster big daddy cell risk levels up here get above those easier chance to qualify and confirm those and then marching merrily onwards and upwards and they do not become qualified and confirmed by end of day on monday and the caution stance still stands 
and the DBA Invesco DB Agricultural Fund has been in a range since last March 2024 and is approaching the top of the range in food prices and commodities, grains, etc., where the component in the inflation report that was the worst for inflation going up in the form of food prices going up get above the top of the range and start moving upwards and there's probably big trouble bounce off of it and head down and that will be a good thing and zoomed way out back to 2011 the peak of agricultural prices commodity prices there you can see we're really far away from there so if it challenges that and continues moving up then this could be a secular bull market after that 